what do you think separates being a great professional golfer from being the best of a generation? Well, you know, I've, I always did it by major championships. That was always how you measured Jones with 13 major championships. I think Walter Hagen had 11 major championships. Um, but, but, but I mean, outside of the numbers, what is it about the, the quality, like the, the work ethic, or like uh, what do you think actually I separates? I really don't know. I mean, I think that I, I leave that to somebody else. I mean, all I can do is put the best record I could put up on the board. And uh, I felt like uh, I'm maybe not the best and most objective person to determine how good I was. Let somebody else or a group determine how good I was. I just do the best I can. And, and I always felt like there was only one person I could control, and that was me. You know, I never, people always said, who is your toughest competitor? I says, it was me. Because I could never control anybody else. All I could do is prepare myself the best I could, and uh, all I could do is uh, try to use that to the best of my ability when I played. If I did that, there was, I never minded getting beat if I prepared properly. If I prepared, did what I thought was the best, didn't do something stupid, and somebody played better, fair enough, well done. If, if somebody else is judged, judged better, then that's okay. Uh, I mean, not everybody judges me as being the best golfer that's ever played. Uh, there's other people that would say it would be Tiger, others would say it would be Hogan, uh, others would say it would be Jones. That's okay, but uh, all I know is as long as I can do everything within my ability to perform my best, and I don't, and I don't think I probably did. I think I probably could have been better, but I also raised a family. I have five kids, 22 grandkids. I had a business. Uh, I had a lot of friends. Uh, I enjoyed other things I'd do. And golf was part of my life, not my whole life. And that to me was important. But even with all of that going on, you still, I'd imagine, have to have had a pretty single-minded commitment to golf to have the success that you had. How do you think you were able to develop that? I think you had to be, all golfers are selfish. You have to be. I think in an individual sport, you've got to be considered about what you're doing and what you're doing and being important. That's why Barbara was so important. She understood that. She understood that I couldn't, uh, I couldn't yield that situation. I had, I had, to, I had, I had, I had, it had to be my dominant thing while I was, while I was trying to participate. I was talking to one of your friends the other day who was telling me about your Bahamas uh, fishing trips that you go on regularly, and it's I guess always a group that goes down with you and. Uh, you guys went out for the day, end of the day, uh, Barbara had caught the biggest fish. And, you know, everybody's doing their own thing back at the place wherever you guys were staying. And after a little bit of time passes, nobody knew where you were. And he said you'd gotten the guy to take you back out to go fishing again because you couldn't handle that you hadn't caught oh, the no, no. biggest fish that day. <clears throat> well, I would, that, that would be a story. That wouldn't, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't be accurate. <laughs> really? I, I mean, okay. The, the, the but that's C all right. I mean, but the CEO of your company, John, is telling me even the little um, what, potato toss things you have in the office, like, if somebody beats you in that, like, it I just drives like to, you I don't crazy. like to get beat no matter what I do. I mean, but, but, but if somebody beats me, plays better, that's fine. But the, uh, uh, you know, Barbara, Barbara does quite well. She, she fly fishes very well, and she always has a knack about catching fish. And so... We always have a little bit of a competition who ends up getting the big, biggest fish at the end of the week. And uh, quite often she's got it. And, and frankly, I'm quite happy with that. You are. I, I'm not, I'm, I really don't, I really don't have, that's, that's not where I'm, uh, I make my living. Uh, so, so if my wife catches a bigger fish than, than I do, I'm happy for her. When However, if I've got, uh, if I've got a couple of guys that are, that, are, that are competitive and with me, yeah, I wanna catch more and I wanna catch Biggest ones. I mean, how, how into it will you get? Well, I get into it. I get into it a lot, and I want to make sure it's a bigger fish than somebody else. <laughs> what about pressure situations made you love them so much? I don't know. I, th I think that it's like everybody says, when you come up to 18, you know, how can you handle the pressure? I says, we mean handle the pressure. That's the fun. The fun of being, it's no fun come up the 18th hole on Sunday at, at noon and finish 45th in the golf tournament. That's not much fun. What's fun is to come in at about six o'clock, coming down the stretch, 
with all the pressure on, 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 on who's going to win or not going to win, that's what's fun. That's what you're there for. That's what you prepare for. Uh, if, if, you, if that wasn't it, I probably never would have played golf because I, re I really enjoyed that. It really, it's the competition on the, and, and the pressure on me, on the field, the course, the tournament, what's going on. I love that. I just love that, that arena. It was just a, it was a fun arena to be in and try to, try to did I always win? No, of course not. But uh, uh, I won a fair number of times.